and gentlemen, boys and girls, your finance guru Vishal Thakkar is back with yet another exciting video on NPV versus IRR. Now, as we discussed in all standalone individual videos of project evaluation technique, that you know each one of them is very easy to understand, but when you compare the two, you find out the finer details and are more sharper in your project related decisions. So let's consider an NPV and let's consider an IRR. Friends, NPV is predominantly dependent on your cash flows, on the rate at which you discount those cash flows and whether it is making money or not. However, IRR is more dependent on the magnitude of cash flows, the frequency of it and the initial investment. So you can say NPV apart from cash flows is also dependent on the rate. However, IRR is like a project break even point, which has more to do with the magnitude and timing of the cash flow. So friends, here the discussion may sound very technical, but in simple terms, NPV tells you how much money comes into your pocket and IRR tells you the rate at which you are earning or the rate at which you will break even because every project cash flows will have one rate where you break even. However, in case of same project, you can work hard to maximize your NPV. So when you compare NPV versus IRR, the secret sauce is very simple that for every project and finance manager, it is very imperative and essential to focus on maximizing NPV and not IRR. Because IRR is static, NPV is dynamic. The way you execute your project, you can maximize your NPV, but your IRR will only stay at a certain level. So for more secret sauce, project evaluation techniques, credit rating, basics of finance, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Finance Tube. Today's topic of discussion is balance sheet. How balance sheet works, what balance sheet is and for whom all balance sheet is useful.